My name is Miss Price, and I am so excited to join you guys today for a story time. So to get us started, we are going to sing a hello song called Hi, Hello, and How Are You? Now to help me sing this, I'm going to ask you to clap. Now, for Miss Price's example, I'm just going to clap with these two fingers so that it is not too loud. However, feel free to clap with your whole hands. Okay, we're going to sing this three times. So start with your clapping, and when you feel comfortable, you can join with the words. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Great job. Thank you so much for helping me with that song. Take a moment to tell someone near you how you're doing today. How are you feeling? Go ahead and share that with them. Very good. Okay, so for today's story time, we are going to talk about names. Go ahead and say your name out loud for me. Great job. So today we are going to talk about names and how important they are. So sometimes people go by the names that they were given when they were born. And sometimes as they get older, they decide that a different name would fit them better. So they change it. So today we are going to read about a little girl named Alma and Alma has a hard time with her name because you'll see it is very, very long. So Alma and her dad go on an adventure to decide why her name is quite so long. And Alma gets to figure out what she wants to do about this very long name. So this is called Alma and how she got her name. It is written by Juana Martinez Neal. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy, it never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. So even though it's long so far, she feels like her names fit her well. Jose was my father, almost daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am 
Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now, tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. Alma. Now, the author put a note in the back and I wanted to share that with you because this author has a very special story. So this is a note from Juana. Remember I told you Juana Martinez Neal is the author and illustrator of this story. So Juana wrote the words and drew the pictures. So a note from Juana. My name is Juana Carlota Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle Carlos. My father was a man of decisions, so when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlota on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlota was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. Isn't that cool? So Juana had an experience just like Alma with a very long name that she had to learn the meaning of. Very good. Do you know where your name comes from? Maybe there is someone near you that you could ask. Where does your name come from and why does it make you special? Thank you so much for joining us about our, for our story time today about names. So we are going to say goodbye with one more song. So the first thing we're going to do is just hold up one hand and we're going to say goodbye. Try it one more time. Goodbye. Good. Then with both hands, I want you to take these fingers and they're going to hug because they're friends. And this means friends. So our song today is going to be goodbye, friends. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you and your very special name have a wonderful day. Bye.